Well, tonight, Ukrainians in Utah continue to feel the impact of the violence and terror happening a world away. New specialist Matt Rascone spoke to one woman who struggled to keep in touch with family living in those cities under attack. I mean, it's just unthinkable. From the moment word got out of an attack on Ukraine. My husband texted me and said, you better check the news. And I thought, oh my gosh, like, it happened. Aaliyah Herod has been checking in with family every couple of hours. Her dad is in a nursing home. Her mom is immobile. I realized, like, my mom is just locked in. She can't go out. I don't know what happened to my dad. I mean, I was just panicking. Aaliyah's hometown of Kharkov is the second largest city in the country, just miles from the Russian border. Today, the city is under attack. Now they're getting bombed. The city's just getting just bombed. There's expo she could hear explosions. Her son Niles grew up visiting Ukraine. He says they haven't been able to reach his aunt, who lives in the capital, Kiev. She's also worried about those across the border in Russia. There's a lot of Russians that don't want this. Where he served as a missionary for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We almost feel helpless in a way, like we're just worried that we can't do anything. We want to do something so bad. So far, both say President Biden's sanctions haven't gone far enough. He's like, we'll see what happens in a month. No, no it, month. It has to be now. You can't, I mean, you can't it, it's a matter of days. You can't wait a month. He said, we'll There's wait no a month, month and see. I'm like, I was like... My heart hurt for Ukraine after that. For now, you know, the Herod family says more. the best thing Utahns can do is... Show your support. For Ukraine and its people. It's been very good for people to call me and text me and let me know. Don't approve of this. And they are against the war. Matt Rascone, KSL 5 News.